Hey y'all, welcome back to Southern and Spicy. So today is a special edition. I've had many subscribers and friends that have been waiting for my possum pie show. And so today we are gonna make a delicious possum pie. And it originally originated from Arkansas, but I kind of stole it as my own. It's still from the South. So the reason they call it possum pie is you know how possums play dead? Well, this pie looks like it's a chocolate pie, but it really isn't. Inside, there's another layer, a delicious layer, and it's a very delicious surprise. So with that, let's get started with our crust because let me tell you this, the crust is the bomb. That is a big selling point to this dessert. So for our crust, we have a cup of flour, three-fourths cup of chopped pecans, a fourth a cup of brown sugar, and then five tablespoons of butter. Now the recipe calls for a stick of butter or a half a cup, but I found that to be too much for my taste. Five tablespoons is what I use. So first thing we're gonna do is mix up our dry ingredients really well. Then we're going to add the butter. And get that all mixed up. I have preheated my oven to 350. So this is the best crust ever. So we are going to bake this for about 10 to 12 minutes. And then we're going to let it cool before we put the filling inside. So as you can see, Got my crust mixture mixed up really well. Okay, now I'm going to put it into my pie pan. Scrape off every little bit of butter. Don't waste butter. Then I'm going to press it into our pie pan. And as you can see, it, uh, it goes on very well. You are gonna love this crust. You are gonna love this dessert. So what you need to do is you need to invite your friends over or your family and say, we're having possum pie tonight. And they're gonna freak out just because you said possum pie. They're gonna think it's like a chicken pot pie. They are going to think that you caught a possum out in your backyard or out in the field or something and you decided to cook it. So, all right, I've got our crust. Look at that, beautiful. It's time to put our crust in the oven. 10 to 12 minutes. So while that's baking, we are going to start with our bottom layer. Eight ounces of cream cheese with, and it's room temperature, with a half a cup of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of heavy cream. Going to use our mixer to make sure we get that nice and smooth. As it splatters everywhere. Okay, that's good. I love cream cheese, I told y'all. Now to make our yummy chocolate layer. Once you learn how to make homemade chocolate pudding or the layer that goes in a pie, you'll never go back to buying that store-bought stuff in the box, which you could use in this recipe. I've got three egg yolks, and the reason we're using the yolk only is because if you were gonna do a meringue, you would use the whites, but I love whipped topping, homemade whipped topping, so I'm still gonna use the egg yolks, but by the way, if you're at high altitude, you need to add another one. I've got my sugar. This is a cup of sugar, and I've got my flour, two tablespoons of flour, 
and three tablespoons of cornstarch. You know what that's for, it's gonna make it thick. Two cups of milk. So let me get this going really quick right here. We're gonna use our mixer, get it mixed really well. And we're gonna put it on the heat. Gonna add our milk. Two cups of whole milk. You can use 2%, but it's gonna be richer if you use whole milk. Milk in here. Then I'm gonna add a third a cup of cocoa. Get this mixed up pretty well. Then we're gonna put it in our pot our saucepan and we are going to put it on a medium high heat and stir it constantly for seven to ten minutes all right that's mixed pretty well now that i've got this mixed while my pot's getting a little heated up i'm going to go ahead and take the crust out of the oven yeah oh wow love that yes we're going to put it back here and let it cool. We are going to put our chocolate mixture in the bowl. Seven to ten minutes. You are going to be amazed. Some of you may be saying, I can't make a pie. My feeling is always runny. Maybe you need to add a little cornstarch to it. Some people just... Some cooks will stir it for a while and they're just like, it's not getting thick. You, it's, you've got to be patient, just like with gumbo. Trust me, it, it will thicken up. And every stove cooks differently. Once we get this thick like we want it, <clears throat> I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter and a teaspoon of Mexican vanilla. And then we are going to we're going to pour it up in this thin dish and cover it with saran wrap. Put it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Let it cool a little. You don't want to put it in there over the cream cheese. It'll really be a big mess. So you can see it's starting to thicken up. Just a tad bit. Just see, I'm checking it to see how it looks. I'm making this pie from my doctor. We just moved back here to Texas a few months ago and I needed to get a doctor and her name is Melissa Walters. She is fabulous. She is wonderful. Not many doctors will return your phone calls or even call you back later. She will. So that is why I'm making possum pie for her office. You can see it's getting thick. I'm going to turn my heat down. It's supposed to be like on a medium. Um, I think I said medium high earlier. Put it on medium and you can judge. You don't want it too fast or you won't be able to control how thick it gets. It'll just get thick super quick. So we're just going to be patient here. Here we go. It's getting thicker. All right. See, it's starting to thicken up, but I like it to be so thick that it sticks to the spoon so it's not as thick as I want it yet see that starting to bubble up a bit all right that's pretty thick I think that's thick enough I'm gonna turn it off add two tablespoons of butter I'm going to add my teaspoon of Mexican vanilla I had a friend that used to go to Mexico all the time and they would bring me a giant bottle and then they quit going and I found the brand Pure Vanilla on Amazon. There's nothing like it. It's got great flavor. I would not go back to anything else. I've got this off the heat and I am stirring it till the butter's melted. And then we're going to pour it in our dish and let it cool in the refrigerator. So we're going to cover this with saran wrap, but you don't want the saran wrap to touch the pudding. You want to make it tight so it does not touch 
the pudding mixture. All right. Now we're going to put it in our, our little shallow dish. Mm -hmm. Smells so good. Every speck, but I do lick the spoon. <laughs> Smooth that out. Mmm. Did y'all ever lick the bowl when your mama made a cake? That batter? Mmm. Got my saran wrap. Yeah, my son, he loves homemade pound cake. And it's got like five eggs in it, three-fourths cup of oil, and some other things. He always wanted to lick that bowl. Put those raw eggs and stuff in it. Okay. He's a big boy now, though. All right. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Now, let's see. Our crust is cool. Now we're going to put our cream cheese mixture in the bottom of our, our dish. And smooth it out. Make sure you get that cream cheese mixed really well because don't it may pull your crust up and if you see that it's starting to pull your crust up just get a little bit of water dampen your spoon yeah wow okay all right now we'll just wait 30 minutes for our chocolate and then we will put our whipped topping on and we're gonna go ahead and make our whipped topping and give our chocolate filling a little time in the refrigerator. A cup of heavy cream and about a tablespoon and a half of sugar. That's it. Best whipped topping ever. And you just beat it until it has peaks. You can see it's starting to make ripples in the cream. So you want to cover the cream cheese so people don't see that under there. Wow. Great pie. It's one of my favorite pies. All right. Now let's put our whipped topping. I used a cup of heavy cream, but if you want to use more, you can. When I make a coconut cream pie, I use more because I like my whipped topping to be thick. Spread that out. Now, you don't have to cover the chocolate want to you're probably going to have to use more than a cup of heavy cream. I like the chocolate to show. Sprinkle a few pecans on top. Give it a little decoration. Make it pretty. There you have it. Possum pie. Now to box it up and send it to Dr. Melissa. Y'all have a great day. See you next week.